Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on the forex market and in general on the fundamental picture that we have in the global economy. Well, um, today as usual we have prepared the vehicle report where we give you really exceptional information. It's lots of things that you could think about making your own decisions and uh, in particular speaking we explain why uh, the suggestion as of the Fed representatives, such as James Bullard, who said that Fed should raise rate to the 3.75 and if it will do it relatively fast and close to the next year, the inflation should drop to the 2%. As well as the Goldman Sachs and Bank of America, who have made the revision of their long term view, suggesting that inflation should slowing down near, nearly and uh, they because just because the United States is turning to recession and uh, as it books teaches us that when inflation turns to re recession inflation should slow down it's just because consumption is dropping and correspondingly the uh, prices also should turn down but the problem here is that we do not have the classic recession recession is a cyclical issue but this crisis is not the cyclical one it is structural and until you balance the demand and supply inside of the economy whatever you will do rising rates cutting rates it will not help you and in general by the last report of the cpi ppu numbers you could see that the things that we talked about and within a few months before this has happened and even before the fed starts changing rate that rising of the rate will not help to contract and hold the inflation and you could see that this really stands so. And uh, with our suggestion that they might be correct in anticipation that Fed stop rising rates, but they are not correct in the anticipation that inflation will turn down. We suggest that Fed stop rising rates. It's just because they can't rise rate to the 8% where it should be equal to inflation. Uh, but it doesn't mean that inflation will go down. That's the moment where they are staying wrong. We think that inflation will keep rising and if Fed stop rising rates, with the real problems with the financing of the deficits in all spheres, they have the budget deficit, they will have the trade negative trade balance that stands in the historical highs, they have the investment uh, deficit and they have no sources to finance them all of the stuff uh, but only start printing money again if they do this inflation starts to approach the European numbers somewhere around the 20% that's what we expect so where we agree with the, that the Fed will switch the back pedal and inflation wins but we disagree that inflation starts dropping. This is the big difference of our view with the view of the Fed representatives and uh, with the uh, big banks opinion. So all the stuff you could read um, in the report. Also, we provide you really interesting charts, some, some charts that you it's difficult to find on the net, uh, but they will show some interesting things. Um, just study, think about it. It really might be uh, fascinating. Speaking on the technical side, although we have the, I would say, epic events in the global economy and in politics, we do not see the big changes in um, technical side. So uh, on the common week, the major event will be European Central Bank meeting. And uh, technically, well, uh, with, with the background of anticipation fears of the slowdown in the United States economy, in this first moment on some suggestion that European Central Bank, although hardly it happened, but still theoretically, it could rise rate for half of the percent. 
which is not priced in totally in investors and 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 with the um some uh concern around the possible uh, intervention it might also happen at least investors now is concerning about this this background turn euro to some consolidation around the parity as you could see that being said if European Central Bank indeed raise rate for a half of the percent that could trigger the well moderate pullback and I would, well, I would suggest that pullback might be even to somewhere it's one or two one or three area as you can see this is a minimum target of the butterfly that we have here and also daily ever bought so from the weekly ever sold to the daily ever bought it's a really probable action uh, correspondingly you could trade it differently uh, for us as we have mostly bearish trend and we consider daily chart as the basis for our trading it's more interesting to see the pullback for taking the short position because you could see here we have not bad thrusting action and if market reached the 103 1027 area that might be not bad background for taking the position because that might be the brand uh, brand by the sell and around the daily ever but this will be a really great combination at the same time it's of course not forbidden for trading your on the long side on the intraday charts for instance on the hourly chart we still as usual have to wait for patterns and uh, once again one of the possible patterns that might be formed here is uh, 127 reverse hand and shoulders we already have some divergence and so on as usual so uh if we use the harmony of this pattern and suggest where the ABCD points might stand from that standpoint the OP will be around 1 or 175 XOP 1 or 280 these two targets are relatively close to the resistance areas so OP close to 1 or 2 area um, while the XOP stands in this confidence resistance around 1 or 3 so both targets uh, well looks interesting and if you intend to take the long position here although well it might be the tough challenge and tricky trade but your risk will be relatively small because this is 127 potential passion you have to play stop below the a which is very close to the c point risk will be not too significant um, well that's actually the setups that we intend to keep an eye on on your currency in the coming week as usual they are depend on um, some fundamental events, especially on the decision from the European Central Bank.